Are you guys up for some crazy story time? Now, generally, I like to keep my mind open to interesting ideas, uh, especially pertaining to humanity's history, uh, what could also be called hidden history. There's a lot of things we don't know. Basically, hidden history was written by, at least I, I tend to view it more as history was written by those with power, with control, those who won. You know, same with war does not decide who won or who was right, but only who was left. So, somebody uh, very interestingly sent me lost knowledge on history's hum humanity's history. Same night that I've been drinking wine. Continuing on, I'm going to read you guys exactly what he sent to me. It's a little bit much, but very interesting. Please listen. As well, if you have anything to add to this or any thoughts, I would really love to hear from you. And if you're the guy that sent me this, you know who you are. I would really love to hear from you more as well. I'd like to talk to you about it. All right. Lost knowledge. <clears throat> This information should not be taken lightly. You would be wise to research as much as possible on your own regarding what I'm about to tell you. Cross-reference it with your sources and look for common ground in between. That is the truth. There is so much info out there conflicting with one another. You must have a strong ability of discernment, but you seem like a smart guy. You guys seem like smart people. Let me disclose that I have studied these fields for many years now and was once in your shoes. I am not affiliated with any religion, but I am a spiritual person. Me too, what are the coincidences? I have to assume you have a limited understanding of Kundalini, the Third Eye, Chakras, Magic, Nephilim, Angels, GFL, the Galactic Federation of Light, GFL, keep that in mind, Pleiadians, excuse me, which I believe are a race of aliens, I'm not exactly 100% sure, aliens, sons of God, religions, etc, etc. It is difficult to find a place to begin, but since you know of the Nephilim, ancient Bible history, we should start there. In the Bible, which is a true record of history, the Watchers, fallen angels, mated with human females because they found them fair or beautiful. This is a lie purposefully edited to obscure the truth. The fallen angels had lost their immoral immortality and needed to reproduce to keep some remnant going, hence the mating with humans. This gave rise to giant humans, which you find in stories like Hercules and others. One of their parent, usually the father being a god, same with Achilles and the rest of them, all Nephilim, mortal, but with human and divine abilities. Now then, these Nephilim were given the Kundalini techniques, and long ago most of them were viewed as gods themselves. Some were actually giants and depicted as so in Sumerian tablets. All this can be found in ancient history texts, cylinder scrolls, etc. Even in the creation stories, which are the same. One very important fact. When they die, their spirit is imprisoned in this planet. You may have heard the term prison planet. Keep in mind that's Alex Jones' slogan for his website, prison planet. Just a thought. Many, many researchers have concluded that this planet is in fact a quarantine. Even the fake Galactic Federation of Light has said this. It is due to the Lucifer Rebellion. Many entities are locked up here, and that Star of David, the Tetrahedron, that is the seal upon them. That seal is another subject. This really is the most massive study you will undertake. It's all connected like a spider's web. On that note of the Tetrahedron, I believe there is actually uh, one uh, in the triangle, what is it, the Bermuda Triangle. And that's what causes people or ships, planes to go down, to disappear, end up in other places, crazy things like that, is, uh, is a lost tetrahedron or something. It had a better name, but I can't remember that exactly, but I believe it was in the shape of. Uh, look up Hid His Humanity's Hidden History by Spirit Science. Explains a lot about that. It's great knowledge. Continuing on. Okay, dude. I know that's a lot to take in, and that's not even the tip of the iceberg. Really? There's that much more? Of course there is. We're missing out on so much information. Concerning you is the Third Eye Kundalini Doctrine of Kabbalah. Kabbalists are in fact elite Luciferians. This is where you will start to make connections with the Galactic Federation of Light. The Galactic Federation of Light, the commander's name is Ashtar. All throughout ancient history you can find this name. He was a god to ancient peoples. Ashtaroth. In more modern times, people were contacted by him when they were meditating or in a trance. Take note of this. Many had techniques handed down to them from antiquity of how to invoke or manifest these entities through rituals, sigil, sigil, magic. Those were sorcerers, and there is so much truth to this subject you'd be surprised how Hollywood has watered it down to fairy tales. On purpose, of course. I want to talk to you about those who are in a trance. This concerns you. And I'm imagining it concerns a majority of you who are here as well. Channeling beings is done through the Kundalini practice and third eye opening. In higher entities, this is used as communication. When you open your third eye in astral travel, it is like an alarm going off in the astral. It is telling those beings, someone just broke through, they are not from here, and they don't know where they are. Every one of these beings, people contacting the astral, are malevolent, all of them. However, 
They have the ability to appear as angels, or whatever they like. They will even be friendly. This is to gain your trust so you keep coming back. You are actually speaking to a Nephilim spirit or a fallen angel. All spirits, though, not aliens. After some time, you actually give up your mind to them. They are able to enter your mind without you being in a trance. Possession, which we've heard plenty of through history. I hope you can connect the dots. I can answer you many questions, and you will have and point you to sources. But ultimately, it is you who must do many hours of reading and research, which I truly hope you do. I don't have many hours for research and reading, but this is a very wide and open subject. It is absolutely insane. Uh, it'll be someone who is way beyond you on the third eye thing. This guy actually astral travels and speaks to these beings. He's their homie. He doesn't even know what I just told you. He has won over by the whole light and love scheme. It's a trick. I warn you now. Study hard and don't fall for what is for what he says. Your cha His channel is Dero, D-E-R-O-7. I'm going there now. I, uh, you guys can check out his channel, I suppose. I will send some of his viewers, my viewers over there. I don't know. I don't know who he is or I haven't checked it out yet, but... It'll be interesting. Darrow 7 got lost at Mount Shasta for two and a half days and almost got three people killed. Hurt. Interesting. Continuing on, I will look into this and I will keep you guys, uh, well, informed of what I find. As well, if this human being who sent me all of this, if you are indeed human, could send me more information regarding this, I'd love to read up and to uh, look into it a little bit more. Thank you very much. Peace and love, my friends. Namaste.